Well, to mark the 21st anniversary of the 9-11 attacks, the Vermont Air National Guard opens its doors to the public in a way that it never has before. Local 22's Isabel Shoneman has more details about how Vermonters came together to remember that day. For the first time in history, the Vermont National Guard hosted an open house on its flight line. The open house included a military expo, followed by a 9-11 remembrance ceremony. I spoke to a commander with the National Guard. He said about a year of planning went into this event, and they wanted to hold the open house on the anniversary of 9-11 because of the role the Guard played 21 years ago. I think this is an opportunity to get to um, showcase our Guard. The Vermont Air National Guard played a pivotal role in that. We responded that day, and that's our job. That's our federal mission. The military expo included demonstrations and tours through several different military planes. After the expo, Governor Phil Scott made remarks at the remembrance ceremony. We must never forget their memories or their families' grief. We must never forget the heroism of the first responders and regular everyday people who rushed into danger to help. Michael Hurley, a former director and 9-11 survivor, shared his story from the day of the attacks. We heard back, nothing outrageous, nothing really out of the ordinary. We came across some people in the street just lying there burns, but flying up the Hudson River, there was a couple of F-16s, and, uh, you know, we looked up and said, I don't know what's going on, but they're still flying. I spoke to one of those F-16 pilots who said he flew over the city for days after the attack. As the sun went down and, and it was dark now, you were kind of doing our cap over New York City and you just saw the, you know, the fires burning and the glow, you know, uh, through the smoke, you know, it was just... You just prayed. It was just sadness. Thousands of guests came out to experience the open house. Reporting in South Burlington, Isabel Shoneman, Local 22 News.